everybody and welcome to today's video so I wanted to try a little bit different style of recording this day as you guys can see I just started it at the gym and I'm gonna be talking to you guys through the workout just to give you some little pointers and just just to talk to you guys because I like talking to you so you're gonna talk to me again with this voiceover I hope that's okay <laughs> so this shoulder workout was short and sweet and straight to the point holy moly I did it two days in a row because it was that good and my boyfriend came to visit the day after this and I was like, babe, mm -mm, we're going to go to the gym together. I'm going to fry your shoulders. I'm going to put you through a killer workout. So my shoulders were already sore after this workout. Imagine how they felt after two workouts like this. The best part is I was in and out of the gym in like record breaking time. I think it was like 37 minutes with talking to somebody at the front. So who doesn't want to just get in and out? I mean, playing around at the gym and taking your sweet time is awesome when you really feel like it, but I don't know about you guys. I want to get in, I want to kill it, and I want to get out. And if it's that, if that is under an hour, I'm super happy. So as always, for every single exercise, I want to give you guys some pointers that will help you be able to lift heavier and keep proper form. I find when I do the lateral raises with the front and the front and the rear rotations, it just kills and fries the delts, like the front delt and the medial delt. Try it, you guys. Next, we're going to move into another variation of lateral raises. I'm going to be doing a lateral raise with double lateral raise. So it's a combo. Your shoulders are going to be fried after this one. We're only on the third exercise. The first pointer is to always engage your core. Make sure that it is engaged and that will help with stability and that will also be able to help you with lifting heavier. So core engaged and a slight bend in the knees. So we're going to be doing the entire workout except for the last exercise standing. These two pointers are very, very important. Okay, so my shoulders are already on fire. These exercises that we've been doing, there's a lot of movements in one. So even though it's only been three exercises, you've technically done five. Next up, we're going into a barbell clean and press with two presses at the top. Ooh, I love you guys, I do. At this point, you guys are probably wondering, wow, that was a lot of lateral raises and I'm gonna promise you guys something right now right now. I might not have the biggest and roundest delts, but I will say that ever since I started doing a lot more lateral raises, especially when I was in my competing phase and I started doing drop sets and different variations with the palm rotations and double lateral raises, I started to see so much improvement in my delts. So honestly, I swear by them. I love them so much and they are going to be the game changer when it comes to making those delts nice and round. And I'm sorry, this exercise sucks, I know, but it hurts so good. Whenever you are performing lateral raises, front raises, yeah, basically those two, <laughs> always make sure that your wrist, your arms stop when your wrist is in line with your shoulders. Unless you're doing a double front raise or a double lateral raise, that is how high you bring it. Keep a slight bend in the elbow just to protect your joints, just to protect your elbow and your delts, um, your rotator cuff, I should say. But I personally like to have my arms as straight as possible with a slight bend. I just feel that it activates less of the traps that way and more of, I feel it more where I really want to feel it. 
So this exercise right here is obviously two exercises in one. It's a great burnout exercise. It is the front to lateral raise. So you are essentially creating like a T. You see how we're doing a T there? I know you see it. <laughs> Wow, guys. Okay, this is real time. This workout has taken me 27 minutes so far, and I'm on the last, the second last exercise because I'm going to do one thing until failure. So this is going to be some Rudolph flies. Cannot forget to hit this muscle. It's going to create a well-rounded delt and give you that capped shoulder look. So... The Rudolph flies are such a small muscle in the shoulder that it is really important that you are practicing proper form and doing mind to muscle connection. Mind to muscle connection is important with every single lift that you do, but especially the rear delt flies because your delts, sorry, your traps can often overcompensate for this exercise. Okay, last exercise is going to be until failure. And I'm gonna be doing one set of 50 reps of dumbbell shoulder press. So I'm gonna grab 15 just because I'm doing 50 reps. We're gonna pound it out. Keep going until you're done. Let me know down below. I know that the music at the gym was super loud this day, so I do apologize about that, and I didn't want to edit it too much because otherwise I just sounded like I was in a tunnel. But let me know if you guys like these walk-through types of workouts where I'm talking to you and doing a voiceover. I thought it was something different and pretty fun. I felt like I had my own fitness TV show. <laughs> so this exercise right here is obviously our burnout workout. So we are doing one set of 50 reps, and I really like to do this for pretty much every single body part. It's really effective with the rear delt flies, the shoulder press, with squats, or even just with bicep curls. Whatever exercise, sorry, whatever body part that you are training, basically just try to do a burnout set of 50 reps. It is absolutely killer. I did start with the 15s, but oh my lord, I was dying. If you have to drop the weight, it's okay. Just keep going. And that means that you're doing something right. So look at these facial expressions with 10 pounds. Yes, I wasn't able to lift anything afterwards. Just try to do as many as you can without taking a rest. And once you completely come to failure, drop the weight and finish strong. My shoulders are shaking, you guys. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> and I have the smallest camera. <sighs> it's so small. Wow. Okay, workout and <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of it once you give it a try. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. Love you guys so, so much. I hope to see you in the next video. <laughs>